hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're returning welcome back so today we're going to be learning how to do brick parting and this was asked and requested in one of my other videos so that's what we're going to learn how to do today so the first thing we're going to do like in a lot of my other videos is make a part from ear to ear now this will be the baseline that we're going to use to make the rest of our parts and because these are going to be medium parts i am making two rows below that line and then i'm going to start off with making four parts on the first row and that's what i do for all of my medium knot lists or whenever i do locks so this is what the first row looks like and i've got four in the first row and now we're going to get into brick parting and brick parting is basically making sure that you layer the parts above in between the parts below so usually this means that like if you have four on the bottom row you're going to have five on the top row so what i do first is i make a part in between like i just choose one of the braids below and i make a line directly above that and i make sure that line is crisp and that's what i'm doing here now and then after i've made that crisp part i'm gonna move over and do the same thing above the middle of another braid so basically you're using the middle of the braids you made below to make the new like lines for the braids above as you'll see each line that i make is literally directly in the middle of the braids below so use that as guidance when you're making your parts honestly your parts should lay above each other lay above each other between each other if that makes sense like there should be some type of order or some type of geometry you see how this one that i just did the parts are directly in between the two parts below i use the middle of the of the braid from below to make the parts above and i really hope that makes sense if not like the hope like the visual of the video makes sense so that's basically what i'm doing and then when i braid or when i make locks when i'm making my parts i always like to twist every other one up so that i have like couple free down and i'm just ready to i don't know it just helps me move faster so i'm just doing the last one here and making that part in between the braid below so ha like in between the braid below like directly above it like half of the part below directly above the braid if that makes sense so i have four on the bottom row and now i have five on the top row and i'm just gonna go ahead and braid those parts in and you're gonna see how it looks like when i'm done Okay, so this is me finishing the second row, and now I have four parts below, and I have five parts above. Now I'm moving on to the next row, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. This time I didn't really slow it down, but I'm doing the exact same thing. You'll see that the parts that I'm making lie directly in between the parts below. And when I'm making those lines, those lines are directly above the braid. And that's all that brick parting is. Brick parting allows your braids to lie in between other braids so that it makes it look thicker. Now, if you look at um, some other braiders, maybe they do it differently and like their parts will lay like directly above each other. Like one square will be directly above another square. You'll see that they're there's space like you can look in between their head if that makes sense and it makes their hair look a lot thinner than what it actually could be so for maximum volume i do like brick layer parting so yeah and i know a lot of you guys asked in the comments like how many braids i do specifically for each one and I don't I don't usually count I just do it based on like the client like it varies but I did count as of recently for a style I did so if you don't go if you don't already follow me on my TikTok, go ahead and do that and I did that for a small knot list and you can see that and if you guys would like me to do a video um, I can do that for you just specifically on how many braids I have for like medium knot list or small knot list and stuff like that um, yeah but this is how brick parting should look like it should look like the braids that lay directly in between each other like none of them are laying on top of each other and then you should have this like staircase parting whenever you lift up your braids but this is what brick parting looks like um and once i install the locks you'll see that it's it lays really nice so these are the locks that i'm doing i already did the first two rows but if you guys already know if you guys have been following for a while you guys know that i sell locks and these are the locks i'm going to be installing today 
And um, if you ever want to know when my locks will restock, you can go check out my TikTok or you can go ahead and check out my website. And I always have it at the top um, of my page. So, yeah. If you look closely like the locks also lay in between the other locks and here you see me installing locks and i'm gonna slow down and stop because i like to do every video like thoroughly and i'll show you guys how i also install the locks but if you see right here as i'm doing the locks the locks lay in between the other locks and so as you continue to like add more locks like it gets thicker over time and once i finish it should look like you know you can't see directly straight through but this is also knotless as well so it also you also want it to give a flat look but i am gonna go ahead and show you guys how i install these locks for anybody who's placing an order also don't talk about my nails because this is why i don't get my nails done because i can't take them off and i don't feel like going to anybody to take them off so yeah um so this is one of the locks uh, when I install the locks, one thing for sure, I braid all the way down. That's one thing. That's how you don't cut your hair. Tell your braider to braid all the way down. Um, yeah. So I, I go a little bit away from the base, like an inch below. I loop it. I install it. And then I pull both the lock and the braid through the loop. And after that, I just pull it tight. And my locks, they're pretty flat at the top, which makes it a lot easier to wrap. I know when I use like the new locks or any of the free trust locks, the loop is thick and it leaves a bump in my locks. And I don't like that. So my loops are pretty thin. And after that, I'm taking wrapping hair. And, you and this also comes in like when you order, it also comes with the wrapping hair that you'll need. Don't use a lot. Like you don't need a lot to be happy. Like it, you just need a little bit. You see? Like, I use, like, a very thin amount. All you need to do, the whole purpose, is to cover your braid. After that, like, you don't need any more than that. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to wrap it real tight at the top. Not even tight, because I don't like how, I don't like too much tension. I don't know. I've heard a lot of comments about clients having tension when they get locks. It's not supposed to be like that, you know? Um, so I do it pretty light. Well, I, I do it tight, but light, if that makes sense. Like, I don't do it, like, you see how it's not pulling at her head, but it's pretty secure at the top? That's how you need to do it so it lays flat. Then after that, I just go ahead and wrap the rest of the weight down. And I'm going to show you guys one more time how I install locks um, before I show you guys the final product. Okay, here I am showing you guys one more time. Um, this is another one of the locks. This is with the curls closer up, cause just when you when you guys purchase, I want to make sure that you know how to install like install the lock completely, like so like you guys don't have any confusion. Um, it's better if somebody helps you install these locks. Just say it. Um, but like I did before, I take the loop, I put it an inch below like from the base of the braid, and then I pull both the braid and the lock through. And because my my loops are like flat flat. Like, there's not going to be a bump. Like, it's easier not to have a bump. You take minimal wrapping hair. This comes in the packaging. And it also comes with a um, latch hook needle, so you don't need to go buy one. Um, and then, after you do that, you start wrapping, like I will do now. Um, so, yeah, you start wrapping, not too tight at the base, um, just enough to secure it. And then after you get the base secured, you loosen it up a bit as you continue to wrap down and you can, you know, be more free with this. Now, if you have a curl at the top, you pull, like, you see, I'm looking for it. I'm seeing, like, making sure that I don't wrap over the curl. Um, I wrap a little bit further down and I always have, like, a clip with me. So as I'm wrapping down, I wrap a little bit down, then I pull out the curl. You'll see me do that real soon. Okay, so I pull out the curl and I move it to the side. I clip it up and then I continue wrapping over it because you want those curls. That really adds to the look. And that's really all I do to install my locks. If you guys would like that more in detail, I have a couple videos up. But if y'all have specific questions, ask below. Like, and if y'all ever have specific questions on, like, what you need to know. I know someone asked, like, you know, how to braid hair on yourself. I'm getting to that. Um, I usually do that in my TikTok videos. So if you want, like, personal how to braid on yourself, you should go check out my TikTok videos. Um, but yeah, you guys can just look at how, like, the brick parting um, works. Um, 
and how like as I continue to go up like it gets thicker it hides more of like her part you'll see it looks it looks real good but yeah And this is me just showing you guys how it looks, like, with the brick parts. Like, the parts are still there. That's why parts matter. Like, your parts should be clean because they're going to be, like, a little bit visible. But you see how, like, there's, they're laying above, like, on the line. And I know, like, the parts at the top, you are a little off, which can happen. But for the most part, like, bricklayer parting. Make your make sure your parts are in between, and if you can't, like do it as much as you as much as possible. So I'm gonna finish this off. I'm going to add foam. Always add foam to your locks to loosen them up at the top, and then I use a blow dryer to um, dry it a bit and also like make it loose. And then this is the final product. So I also want to show you guys something cool that you can do with my locks because they are human hair. You can take a flat iron to them and. I don't know why you'd want to, but I think it's kind of cool that you can like change up the curl pattern of your locks so you can straighten them out to be a little bit more like thin. So this is me curling one of the strands and I didn't like that curl. So I went and I curled again. Like I don't be curling my hair like I rarely wear like wigs and stuff. But um, this is me curling it and it just it comes out cute and it kind of added to the look at the end because it had different curl patterns. Yeah, this is the final look. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye, y'all.